Ah, uh, what the f Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make commentary videos and occasionally comedy skits and lifestyle videos. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about influencers. Anyone can be an influencer. Literally anyone, whether you're a child, a grandparent, or a dog. And it's not always a bad thing. There are positive influencers out there who spread positivity and create really awesome things. But of course, that wouldn't be really fun to discuss. So we're going to discuss problematic things and just the reality behind these influencers today. Let's look at this. YouTuber Gabby OnlyFans account was suspended after she sold a video of herself as a toddler flashing the camera. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I... Uh, what the f***? It's becoming a thing where like YouTubers and influencers are moving to OnlyFans. I remember Tana Mojo was bragging about how she made like two million or something dollars on OnlyFans, even though she wasn't even like posting proper stuff on OnlyFans. This is where an influencer has the same cloud in every single photo. <laughs> The fact that you have to edit clouds onto a photo, that's pretty sad. An Instagram couple were criticized when they asked for 11,000 for a vacation. They asked their followers to help them fundraise 10,000 so they could cycle to and through Africa. What do we have here? Maybe there was a cost to this. I don't know the full story, but that's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> A famous YouTuber family sold replicas of their actual baby online and people were weirded out. Um... What? <laughs> Who is having that? That one has gone way too far. A model was called out for saying transgender women aren't women, then falsely claiming to be trans herself. This 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 cannot be real. What in the Trisha Paytas is this? Arigato, tenpato. A Chinese vlogger was caught using facial filters to make herself look younger. Yes, I have seen a few of these Asian influencers use like apps to drastically change their faces and that becomes their full-time career as like an influencer, which is just so crazy that like you can like look nothing like you do with these filtered apps and like live off that like you make so much money like that's straight up lying to people but it's smart though i'll give them credit for that like if i could make myself look really hot on camera and make that a full-time career I would. I'm not that desperate yet. Oh my gosh. Technology is crazy nowadays. I feel like a grandpa saying that. The fact that it's not just photos anymore, that there are videos out there that like drastically change you. And, and I know it's usually like it's for fun and it's like funny, but like it's just really creepy. An influencer who documented her motorcycle crash was accused of sponsoring the post and glamorizing the accident. What? What the fuck? The filter, the poses, the photography. This actually reminds me of an influencer, which I'm not going to mention because I don't want to start more drama, who like fully documented a family member's death. This influencer was posing with like the typical, you know, like Instagram filter in front of their family member's graveyard. I personally thought that was really messed up. I mean, like it's your life. You are a full-time influencer. Maybe that's their coping mechanism. I don't know. So this Chinese influencer was called out by a landlord last year for pretending to live a glamorous lifestyle when in reality she was living in a filthy apartment. So I have a friend who was friends with an influencer and we're not gonna mention names here because we're not gonna start more drama. My friend exposed the reality of this influencer. It's so shocking. When you look at this influencer's profile, you think their lifestyle is amazing and you think that they're rich because they have all these products and they show off all this amazing lifestyle and all the traveling. When in reality, this influencer can barely pay for shit, doesn't pay friends when they're eating out. They can't even pay for their significant other and their significant other is always paying for them just so this influencer can show off this lifestyle that they want to portray on their Instagram. It really is all just for the show. This Swedish influencer was trolled heavily after she apparently faked a trip to Paris. There's literally no shadow there. Oh my gosh, this is not it. No, if you're gonna be fake, hire a good editor. I feel like my 12 year old cousin who does Instagram edits could do better than that. Uh, this is I, the fact that I, I'm not even shocked by this because it's so common, but this is just another influencer who is exposed for asking for a free stay. Like the entitlement that a lot of these influencers have just because they're influencers, they think they deserve a free trip or they don't have to pay for certain meals. Okay, now here is influencers in the wild. Let's watch some of these. I 
I'm guessing this is a TikTok. Okay, yeah, people do weird shit for the gram. On my way to the Bahamas. Checking the PJ. I'm so excited. Ma'am, please be where she going. That is creative. I love that. Yes! Yes! What are you doing, crack? Oh my gosh, people are ridiculous. Relatable though. I've had moments where I've been desperate for content and I love it when when influencers as soon as they're done with their content creation Like the video they're making cameras off. They're suddenly back to reality. Good on you. That that must have been cold oh. <laughs> Okay, that's creative some of these influencers are pretty creative. I must say I must say Okay, the thing is, like, that's such a common view. The reality we live in now, huh? So let's just go through this board panna post. I love her post because her post is just like influencer hot pictures and then versus the reality. Here you have like her jawline, like sharp and perfect. And then that there realistically is what I look like most of the time. So important to remember that not everyone looks good all the time. Wow, like, Look at that big difference. Yes, that's literally what my chin looks like. I get so insecure about my my like double chin because my chin looks like that. I always talk about like Instagram isn't real and all that, but I forget myself. Instagram isn't real and it's just like everyone's best photos. Holy crap. Yeah, wow. Wow. This should be a thing on Instagram, like a rule. If you post a hot picture of yourself that probably took like a hundred shots to take this, you have to post your ugly outtakes too. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a massive difference. Cute dog though. Anyways, I think that's all for today's video. I'm not really sure what was the purpose of this video, but I thought it'd be just interesting to look into some of the ridiculous things that influencers do. There should be a class that every influencer should be taking because clearly it's gone too far. I'd love to hear your opinion on influencer culture down in the comment section below and whether you know an influencer in real life and the reality behind it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. So that's all for today's video and I will see you guys next time.